एज यू गेट दी क्वेस्ट गो टू ससो मॉनेस्ट्री टॉक टू एनी वन इन दी ससो मॉनेस्ट्री कोर्ट यार्ड दिस विल अनलॉक दी लोकेशन ऑफ कॉन्ड्रैट कीजर यू हैपन टू नो द वेयर अबाउट्स ऑफ कॉन्ड्रैट कीजर एंड व्हाट डू यू वांट फ्रॉम योर बजट Never mind what do I care it's the big house in the courtyard by the monastery Now the location of Conrad Kieser will be marked on your map Go to the house where Conrad Kieser is staying Oh come on. What are you trying on here? Is this where Conrad Kieser lives? Indeed. The world renowned Conrad Kieser. I need to speak to him. Oh really? What ever for? I'm a fellow thinker and I'd like to discuss my hypotheses with Master Kieser. <laughs> And what ones would those be exactly? Stronghold construction. I have this new idea for building and a chat with the master would be very good. That sounds important. Come on in. The master's inside. Here's the key. The horde of Joshua, you startled me. I thought you were urban. What do you want? Sir Tobias Fafar, the master builder and engineer from Scalitz, sends his greetings. Fafar? Tobias Fafar? I've heard of him. He invented an interesting mining machine. Uh, what does he need? So, have you heard what's been going on in Talmberg? I have heard a thing or two. Is it true the castle's been taken? It has, and we want to take it back. Master Fafar has been given the task of building a trebuchet, but he's not sure he can manage it. I doubt it myself. Uh, building siege engines is an entirely different kettle of fish than mining. Damn. I'd like to rain some boulders on those heathens of Sigismund's. But that can't be done with a quill and parchment, and I can't leave here right now. Hmm. I'll try and find some way of getting you out of here. Look here, I don't want any trouble. You better talk to Karal, the master builder. Now there are two ways to proceed. First, to make sure that Master Kerel is short of money, and second, to steal Master Builder Kerel's commission. Easiest way for both is by knocking out Master Kerel at night when he is sleeping at his house. His house location will be marked on your map. Master Kerel goes to sleep after 1:30 at night. If you go to his house at 2 a.m. at night you will find him sleeping Simply knock him down and steal the money to complete one objective Also take the trunk key Now open the trunk and steal the commission to complete second objective Now 
now the easiest and the shortest method to let master keezer off is by offering you know, money to master keral but at I'm least glad you came. Is all right are you sure you won't release conrad you won't be gone long not a chance hmm well anyway i've heard it said there's not enough money to finish the construction so i thought as a lover of architecture i might contribute how the hell do you know that that's neither here nor there. The important thing is to let me help you. How much will you give, damn you? What do you say to this? More. Very well, then. Kiza can go. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Sweet Jesus, I knew this day would come! What? Who is... Carol said you can leave and... Leave? I can't even set foot outside the door! Not now! Please, calm down and tell me what's going on. <sighs> They're after me! Who? Who's after you? Sigismund's people, of course! Why would they be after you? Because he's never forgiven my criticisms of Nicopolis. Now he's decided to pay me back. What am I to do? What makes you think someone's after you? When I was on my way to Sassau, I saw Baron Pekar in Kostelitz. He was with Sigismund on the crusade, as was I. Now I've been told he was seen at the local tavern. And a stranger's been creeping around the gardens here late at night. My God, there are signs someone was trying to force the door. They're after me, Henry. The Lord preserve me. They want to kill me. Take it easy. If someone's after you, I'll see to it. I'll have a sniff around the town or lie in wait for him. I don't know. What if he sneaks past you? He won't, I promise. I'll hide in the garden, and if anyone starts creeping around after dark, I'll catch him. You will, won't you? Good, good. And be sure to hide well. If he sees you, he won't come. Now you have to watch out for the assassin at midnight. Simply head outside Kizer's house and hide in the barn that is attached to the house. The assassin will appear sometime between 12.30 and 1 a.m. When the guy spawns, sneak up to him quietly from behind and talk to him. You have to keep two things in mind. One, don't knock him down, just talk to him. And second, talk to him while he is trying to break into the house. If you talk before or after that, then it won't be counted. Halt! What are you doing here? Quiet for God's sake. You'll wake the whole monastery. Silence! For God's sake, I caught you in the middle of an assassination attempt. Assassination? What are you on about? Are you Lord Pekar? The one who was on the crusade? Well, yes. How do you know that? Because you've come to assassinate Comrade Kieser. Kieser? He's living here in the monastery. Well, yes. Right here in this house. What's your business here? It's all a terrible mistake. I have a long-standing arrangement with a custodian here, Sir Sebastian von Berg. I supply him with salt and spices. And I've come to realise how he's been cheating me repeatedly. The dispute's been running for a while and still has legs. So I wanted my money back, that's all. I've no quarrel with Conrad. All right, I suppose I'll have to take your word for it. But stop creeping around here at night and trying to break into the house. Conrad is scared half to death and I need him in his right mind. Very well, that does sound like Conrad. I'll think up some other plan.
Well, did you find anyone? I did. And? You needn't fear. I kept watch the whole night and nothing happened. A few folk passed by, but nobody dangerous. And what about Pekka? Are you saying he has no malicious intentions? None. He's just doing some trade with the custodian. That's what brought him to where you were. Well, if you're sure. But I'd still rather lie low for a while. Come to Townburg. You'll be surrounded by a whole garrison there. Yes. Yes, I suppose that does make sense. Uh, thank you, Henry. I'm in your debt. We'll meet at Talmberg. Now go and report to Fefar. As you approach the campsite, a cutscene will start automatically. A well-chosen site. You want to strike the gate, do you? True. We don't want to do more damage than necessary. I quite understand. Sir Toff is holed up there, is he? Just so, Master Conrad. I hear you have some accounts to settle with him. Ah, not entirely. I've done with him. Sigismund trusted him more than me in his campaign against the Ottomans. And we all know how that ended up. Uh, how did it end up? Badly, my lord. The flower of French knighthood was slain there. Sigismund fled for his life. And I did too, I must confess. Be assured, we shall not make the same mistake here. We do not intend to starve them into submission, but to break down the gate. I am at your service, my lords. We will build the trebuchet quickly. It will be ready in a matter of days. And I can supply, for example, Rochetta to sweep the foe from the battlements. Rochetta? I do not believe I've heard of such a term. Rochetta? Our missiles, filled with black powder, with a touch hole at the bottom to ignite it. They shoot forward, something like a hand cannon, but without rocks. The rocket is the missile. I see. But we don't have black powder in these parts. Nor cannon. Indeed. It should have occurred to me. But I am very fond of Rochetta, and I always think what Alexander the Great might have accomplished with them. I understand. We find ourselves in a conventional situation that demands a conventional solution. I'm still hoping that Toth will see sense and parley with us. He may well do so, especially when we set up the trebuchet on his doorstep. Hey, Henry's come to see us!